Piace, pinguino. Ma se proprio insisti, mi toccherà aprirti un bel tunnel in mezzo alla fronte. Io dovrò scegliere un altro bersaglio. Perché tu al posto del cervello ce l'hai già una caverna. Beh, veramente quando cominciò questa storia, la caverna che Pasco aveva al posto del cervello era ancora più profonda. Allora lui era soltanto un poveraccio. Uno dei tanti disgraziati che popolavano il Messico nel periodo in cui Porfirio Díaz tentava con le buone o con le cattive di farsi rieleggere presidente per la quinta volta. In verità, più con le cattive che con le buone. Per chi voti tu? Porfirio Díaz. Riccardo Huerta. Tu per chi voti? Io voto contro Díaz. Portatelo al muro. Papà. Rotove, caricat. Puntat. Fuoco. E tu? Per chi voti? Mm? Uno come me per chi deve votare, generale. Tu. Non hai risposto alla mia domanda. Per chi voti tu? E un po', sei sordo o ci fai? Che cosa, generale? Voglio sapere per chi voti. Verme. Rispondi! <susurra>
¡Viva Santos! Chi è stato il valoroso che si è ribellato per primo? Ah! Bene, figliolo, bravo. Come ti chiami? Mi chiamano il Vasco. Ah. Perché... Eh, perché porto sempre questo in testa. E come i miei erano vaschi... Sa che mio padre puliva i cessi pubblici in Spagna? Arrivò qui con grandi idee in testa, sa. Voleva lanciare in Messico la moda dei cessi a pagamento. Ma siccome gli piacevano troppo le puttane, si mangiò fino all'ultimo centesimo. E finì guardiano i cessi di San Bernardino, poveraccio. Allora tu conosci bene San Bernardino? Bene. E... <ride> certo, ci sono nato. Bravo, Vasco! Mettiti a capo dei miei uomini. È gente coraggiosa. Guida via l'assalto. Espugna San Bernardino. Distruggi i regulares. Annienta i santisti. Dici a me? Sì, a te. Da questo momento... Sei nominato mio luogotenente comandante con pieni poteri. Vasco! Viva il Messico! Viva il Messico! Viva, 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 Viva la rivoluzione! Vasco ancora non poteva saperlo, ma quando c'era un'impresa rischiosa, Mongo nominava sempre un luogotenente. Il generale compariva solo a cose fatte. E così successe anche a San Bernardino, dove mentre i prodi conquistatori erano in paese a festeggiare la vittoria, arrivai io.
<laughs> where, you, where are you going in those clothes, huh? To a wedding? Or to a funeral, maybe. Tell me, whose side are you on? Hey, you come in on the train, huh? <laughs> hey, gringo. Oye. What is in that freight car over there? It was not here before. No more questions! Let's shoot him! We will. You ready, amigo? Your friend is right, compañero. When you're about to die, don't ask so many questions. Who are we here? Uh, what are you staring at? Huh? Uh, don't you lie the way I shoot? Huh? Don't you lie the way I shoot? Or you're one of them? Huh? You are. I'll have to search you. Excuse me, so sorry. Like bananas? Like bananas, Vasco! <laughs> Qué bonito! Qué lindo! Qué trajecito tan bonito, señor! <laughs> <Top. Excuse me, would you mind telling me who threw this banana peel? I did. Oh. This is yours. Take it. Why? You just want to bet. Please, can you tell me which is your best hotel? The best hotel in town? Uh, uh, let me see. That one, sir. It's very good. Very comfortable. <laughs> it's the only one we have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very much obliged. Tú, sir. Vaya con Dios. Gracias, eh. Gracias. Hey, 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 Vasco. Why did you get that dollar? Because he was afraid of me. Estaba cagando los pantalones.
I'm looking for General Mongo. Can you tell me where I can find him, please? The General is very busy right now, conducting revolution. Oh, hadn't you noticed? Oh, yes. I did hear a few shots and see a few bodies around. But, uh, I thought it was probably the local costume. I'd like uh, your best room and a hot bath, if you please. We only have one room here, but I'm afraid he's not free yet. He's already been taken by him. Very interesting. Someone important, I imagine. Yes, he is one of the general's officers and the most powerful hombre of all. His name, please. Who? Him, the gentleman over there. Oh, Pepito Tigrero. Why? Pepito. Pepito Tigrero. Now the room is free. Prepare my bath, will you? But where will Pepito go? To the hospital. La prego di perdonarmi. Sua madre è una meretrice, suo padre è un ladroncello e suo nonno è notoriamente un uomo di natica larga. Come hai detto? Mi spiego meglio. Tua madre è una mignotta, tuo padre è un ladraccio zozzo e tuo nonno è notoriamente conosciuto come un famoso frocione. Cosa hai detto? Not to mention your sister. Now you know where I am. Go and tell General Mungo the Swede is in town. It's a pleasure to see you again, my dear. Although I'm accustomed to entertaining beautiful girls alone in my bedroom. Well, since the conversation is getting nowhere, if you will excuse me, I would like to make myself comfortable. Of course, if there is anything I can do. You must join us. Why must I? Because the side we're on is the side of reason. Being on the side of reason is not always a good reason. But we are fighting for the ideals of justice and liberty. It is a very good cause. Hmm. Fine sounding words. I've heard them in every country of Sol Gamzen. Don't sell the weapons to that man, Mongo. He's a bandit. That's why he pays well. You are really a contemptible, despicable man. I wouldn't say so. It's a question of business. Price. If you make me a better offer than his, then the arms are yours. But we have no money. It's hard enough just to keep on struggling, let alone buy guns. Well, everything is possible. Send your leader to me. And if he gets here before Mongo, we'll see if we can come to terms. Our half is a prisoner of the Gringos. What do you mean, a prisoner? While Via, Madero and Zapata were fighting elsewhere against Porfirio Diaz, we students, who were followers of Professor Santos, started a revolution in this territory. But the arrival of Mongo and his men forced us to seek outside help. So the professor went to the United States, thinking they would aid our cause. Because it's the cause... Of liberty and justice, I know. We all know. What happened after that? Well, the Americans knew that if the professor could put his ideas to work, the Mexican oil wells would be seriously compromised. And with the excuse of protecting him, they locked him in for Chuma. He's been six months now. Hey, wake up! 
That penguin sure hit our tiger hard, eh? I threw him with the pussy cat. Now, why would such a strong, hard hitting penguin have to give away dollars out of fear? Hey, muchachos! Hey, Vasco! We just found Miguel and Carlos shut down at the station. Jose thinks it may have been the gringo. Vamos. Vamos. Hey, there is something going on down in the plaza. Come on, out. Through the window. If they find you here, it's all over. You understand? Go. Look, up there on the roof. Shoot them. Usually, when I do something for free, I get nothing but trouble. Come on. You heard them. They were his Zantistas. They came out of the penguin's room. Getting nervous. Get off that damn bed if you want to do it alive. If you're nervous because you want to join us, then be my guest. You know perfectly well why we are here. You're plotting with Santistas. Well. If what I'm doing you call plotting against Mexico, I... We're wasting time, Vasco. He's a spy for Zato. Come on, let's kill him. And then let's hang his body in the square to show the rest of us and shoot him. What are you... You have been accused of killing two of my men at the station. Do you deny it? If you know the meaning of the Latin motto, Mors tua vita mea, you'll understand why I might have done it. But I suppose uh, you never learned any Latin before, did you? In that case, you'd better call General Mongo. He's a friend of mine and he's waiting for me. <laughs> you're gonna get very soon what you're waiting for, Penguin. Take him out. Vamos, gringo. I see you around. Move. Vamos, muchachos. <laughs> you'll see me around. You'll see me around. Come here. Mexicans are not good enough for you, are they? I have a better treatment for someone like you, who goes to bed with foreigners. Hey, Penguin. Let's see if this muerte to uh, Vida Mea is going to help you now. As a Swedish citizen, I have the right. But I suppose it's useless to ask for the protection of my own country's ambassador. You're right. Mm. Mm, I understand. And the general, has he arrived yet? Mm -mm. He has arrived at the moment of your death. You're making a big mistake. I told you, he's a friend of mine. And he's waiting for me. He's more my friend than yours. I am acting as his representative here, and everything I do is law. Anyway, listen. If you tell me why you gave me this dollar, I promise you, you will die in the first charge. I won't make you suffer too much. I'd better not, compañero. You'd feel too bad. You're gonna feel worse, I promise you. Hey, when I give the signal with my hand, go! Hey! At least before the end, drop a champagne! Come on, let's go! Mexicanos todos! You're going to witness a classical squashing of the head! 
of this dirty son of a penguin. Where are you going, Stand there and insult a motor car of your commander, you piece of shit! I hereby strip you of all rank, and you should be thankful I'm not stripping your stupid jackass head from your stupid no-good shoulders, you stupid uh, idiot! Now get out of here! Get down, I tell you! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, where is the Swede? Cabronis! I'll slit your throats if you harm him! Mongo, my sweetheart, you don't know how much I love you. You can thank San Bernardino. As far as I am concerned, your Swedish bones can rot in hell. You know, the government is nothing but a cesspool. The Santistas can take their big words and stuff them you know where. I want something better from this revolution. I want to make a fortune. Only to get my hands on that fortune, I need the help of a snake eyes sweet like you. I completely agree with your ideals. But why did you have me come here with a freight car loaded with weapons and ammunition? After all, you could have stolen that statue. A thing like that can be worth a lot of money. Are you loco? The patron saint is sacred to everyone. No Mexicano would dare touch it. No, I see. I, I told the others we need this treasure to pay for guns. Only the two of us will keep it all. You get one third. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Then one night we quietly disappear. With your guns, of course. Very clever idea. Sure. Jesus! Those cabrones, what the hell are they up to now? I'll break their skulls! Stop it, you bird brain! I told you before! It's useless. And there you are. And safe holds the money to pay for your guns. All wealth of the territory is inside. But none of my men have been able to open it. It was made by a company in Sweden. So you should know how to open it, eh? It's a Swenson, Stockholm model, reinforced with special German steel and a special combination lock. It weighs more than two tons. God himself couldn't open it. The only way to open it is to learn the combination. Manager or a clerk should know it. Only have to do is ask. I had them all killed. But Santos knows only he's in Texas. It would be impossible to get him back here. It could be done. Good idea. General, if you like, I'll go to Texas and bring back Santos to San Bernardino. If I like, of course I do. Magnificent! With that treasure, on to glorious victory! Yeah! Ah. Mm -hmm. This is a true friend. I thank you in the name of every citizen of Mexico. It's a pleasure, General. Since we are going to divide our treasure in half, one part for you and three parts for me. Come on. Take it or leave it. Do we agree? <laughs> Go now. Know that we put every ounce of faith in you, sweet. Bless you. Happy hunting. Carry our enemy home to us. Get All our dreams for the future of our <laughs> beloved country. Get our Mongo. Permiso. General. I know I'm a piece of shit. Small piece at that. But uh, this man has just killed two of our hombres, General. 
He could be a spy. For Porfirio Diaz, General. Uh, How else can we get to the professor? As a European, he will have no trouble crossing the border. He would turn his back if any of us tried. Not a Mexican working as a servant for a citizen of a neutral country. Why don't you come with me? That way you can watch me and help me. That's right. I'll never be a servant of anybody, and least of all of a presumptuous penguin like you. What's the matter? Are you afraid? Hey! Wait! Calm down, muchachitos. Calm down. Come on now, Vasco. The Swede was only fooling. He was kidding. And... Anyway, you called him Penguin. <laughs> I'd say you were even. No, come on, Vasco. Look, if you really want to have it out with him, wait until you return. Eh? I, uh, I'm offering you the opportunity to earn back your former rank and all the privileges that go with it. Mm -hmm. Go with the Swede and help out the Swede. And don't take your eyes off the Swede and bring us back, Professor Santos. I'm asking you to do it for me, your general. Hmm? For your compadres. Hmm? For our grand revolution. Hmm? Hmm? All right, my general. Viva la revolution! Viva el Viva el like this is bad for penguins, huh? You can bet on that. I see the dollar. By the way, why did you give me this dollar? Huh? I don't think now is the right moment. Good morning, Lieutenant. Who are you? Where are you going? My name is Yodlov Peterson. I'm a Swedish citizen. I'm going to Hermosillo to get the train to the United States. Here is my passport. Who's he? Uh, he's my servant. Take his photograph. This area is under martial law and we have to photograph and classify anyone without documents. Of course, uh, we are at your disposal. No, it's just for him. Oh, I see a good system of control. Go on, Vasco. Let them take your photograph. What's that? Come on, boy. Dismount. Yes, you boy. Come on, hurry. Uh, have a little patience, Lieutenant. You know how ignorant these peasants are. Come on, Vasco. It's nothing. You just have to stand in front of the sheet for a moment. Uh-huh. The sheet. Uh, sure. Move to your left a little. More. Much more. Still more. Little more. Little more. There, that's good. Now hold it. Don't move at all. Uno. Dos. Tres. <laughs> Come on, you fool! Vamos! Ha ha!
I was saving the seat for you. It's a beautiful lady under that veil, I'm sure. Uh, you are a will. Your husband? No. Put your hands up and don't move. We don't want to hurt anyone. Unless you force us to. So don't move anyone. Are we there? They are here. We need money, and there is no other way we can get it. But we don't want it for ourselves. We are not bandits. We are revolutionaries. And we fight for the freedom of our country. Viva la libertad! She's a very Santista, but I will admit she's a nice looking very Santista. What do you think we should do with these two? He's not on our side, but he did help us once. That one's a murderer, though. And a real enemy of the revolution. Let's send him to the gallows. No, the fighting squad. No. Vitaliano Santos taught us not to use violence. And to kill this one without any trial would just put us on his level. She's right. She's right. La señorita is right, muchachos. No violence. No violence. Uh, uh, you be uh, careful. Don't uh, make me regret my generosity. Uh, <laughs> hey! No! Watch out! He's giving the train! Stop it! Mexican escaped after brutally murdering eight border guards with the help of a companion, one Yodlaf Peterson, a citizen of Sweden. A reward of 2,000 pesos has been offered for the capture of these two men, last seen heading for Texas aboard a train they stole. What did you say the Swede's name was? The Swede? Y Yodlaf Peterson. Why? Do you know him? Do we know him, Marsha? <laughs> Watch for him, Marsha. Go. Let's get ready for him. Marsha will tell us when the train's getting near.
Come on up, John. I saw Marsha flying around up there. And where she goes, you go. <laughs> hey, Aunt. What a surprise. It's nice to see you again, John. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> you see, I never thought you'd get off that cross I nailed you to. The second resurrection. John and I went through a pretty hectic time in Cuba. Yeah. Because of some damaged merchandise we sold to the rebels. <laughs> and in order to save myself, I made him the fall guy. <laughs> How did you escape from there, eh? It was Marsha. She was the only one I had left. She saved me from a nail that pinned my flesh to the tree. <laughs> Pull the nail loose with her beak? <laughs> no. No. No, she ate off my hand. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. <laughs> well, these things happen. Nice to see you again, John. Yeah, yeah. Now I've got to go. Yeah. Don't get up. Yeah. Take care of him. <laughs> Hold on. Tell me well. Hit me again. Wait. That'll teach you, foreigner. Yeah. You'd want it dead or alive. Since I can choose, I naturally favor the first way. Now, you don't mind, do you? No, no. I wouldn't like to ruin the game. <laughs> Marcia, how would you like some fresh Swedish meat? Like spring we meet, you know. Beautiful eyes, blue like the sky. Marsha, ugly beast! You shouldn't treat her that bad, since you are a penguin. You should understand each other. Uh. Hey, you know something? I wonder how the hell you're gonna get out of this one. Vasco, come on, don't play the fool. Hey, calma, calma. <laughs> you just wait and don't worry. See, I'm gonna keep this in memory of you for the rest of my life. Ah. What a day. What about the revolution? Don't you think about it anymore, Vasco? And what about all the trust mongers in you, eh? You want a bite? No, thank you. And Santos, eh? Don't forget we have to bring him back to open the safe. The revolution needs that money, compañero. And you'll never be able to get... to get the professor out of Fortuma alone. Come on, Vasco. You want me to get down on my knees and beg you? Okay. But, listen. First, you have to promise me by um, San Bernardino 
Doctor, you won't pull any ratchet tricks on me anymore. I'll swear on whichever saint you want. Okay, okay. Are you Catholic? Uh, yes, of course. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, Dios mío! Ah, oh, oh, God! What the hell are you doing now? I don't think I can do it, Penguin. I have vertigo. What do you mean, vertigo? I have vertigo. Uh, uh, hurry up, I'm choking! Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Me vertigo. Are you kidding? Uh, don't be stupid. <sighs> Look. Look if I have the vertigo. Look. Don't worry. Here I go, Mariquita. <laughs> if you ever come to Sweden, I'll let you meet my sister. Beautiful eyes. Blue like the sky. Just like your sister, eh? Penguin. Wait! Uh, you are not dead, don't joke, huh? Uh, 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 that's the boy, good old Pinguino. Hey. Pinguino! Hmm. I can't get down! The Queen's pawn moves and checkmate. Hmm. If you see, Mr. Rosenblum, the weakest piece in a chess game is capable of winning even against much stronger pieces. When one has principles. In our game, we also have our principles. And we're here to help you. We're ready to go so far as to invest in your cause. Human nature has often surprised me pleasantly by its sudden offers of generosity. But experience has taught that the rich do not usually lend their wealth to the services of the poor without expecting something in return. We want nothing more than a guarantee that we can continue to... To have what we've had until now, recognition of our rights by any new and legal government that comes to power. What do you mean? Just sign this 99-year contract granting us the oil rights to all Mexico, and we might just manage to help you win your revolution. <laughs> we have the means to do it. That oil is Mexican, and if I win, it will always belong to Mexicans. And now get out. Your disgusting tactics have given me a headache. Seventeen black. Psst, wait. How do you play it? You bet on a number. If it lands on your number, you win 36 times your wager. Really? Mm hmm. Why don't you try it? <laughs> Thirteen red. Two, two, two. Listen. Can I play any number I want to play? Take your choice. Uh -huh. Sixty-nine. You can't bet on no sixty-nine, for God's sake. Hey, wait a second. You told me I could play any number I want. I want 69, and if you don't play 69, I break every bloody thing that is on this table. <laughs> 69 doesn't even exist. You, you told me any number I want. Could you tell this gent, sir? I'll give you a different number, compañero. 
The one which will win. There are two of us, right? Then let's put it on number two. But if we lose, you tell me why you gave me that dollar, okay? All right. Rien never plu. What did you say? Just a few magic words to help us. And it's 33. <laughs> I'm black. I'm sorry, Jet. <laughs> and I'm sorry for you. It's clear that this matter could lead to mortal displeasure. Oh. <laughs> well, I made a mistake. Yes, yes, how silly of me. The winning number was two. Uh, you've uh, uh, definite, uh -huh. uh, definitely won. Gentlemen, this is your lucky day. Let's see you now. One, two, Thirty-six. Thirty-six dollars. Huh? Yes, of course. The tables are now closed uh, because I uh, seem to have something oh, in my nose, an ingrown hair or something. Uh, I better take care of it now. Well, uh, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Wait, he would never have come away a winner with 69 anyway, I'm sure. Maybe. Yard, sweetie. That money belongs to me. Darling, in Dallas, you said you needed it for your aunt's funeral. In San Antonio, you had to get your horse out of hock. And in Wichita... In Wichita was the best night we had. It was unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Mm. I'm getting nervous. <sighs> Compañero, let me introduce Zaira. The wonderful Zaira, the beautiful Zaira, the incomparable Zaira. She's the only blonde I know who's blonde all over. And you're the only sweet I know. And you're the greatest troublemaker I've ever met. If I were you, mister, I'd find other company. Uh, this is a chance for better company. And your moment of triumph, old stud. But, uh, isn't she a woman? Yes, but there are things we Swedes don't care about. <laughs> Listen, Zaira, I want to go and meet someone in town. Let our friend visit for a while. This is one chance you don't want to let slip through your fingers, huh? Leave the fingers oh. to me. You think you can't resist me? Mm -mm. Mm. I can try. Uh -huh. We're not dealing with any peasant rabble here, you see. This Santos is uh, brilliant and famous. He's no two-bit bandit, mister. The government is going to have to release him in real soon, too, to avoid an international scandal. And if he gets back safely to Mexico and wins his revolution, we'll lose our oil. It's a risk we can't afford, John. How much? Ten thousand dollars. Payable when the job's done. But, uh, we brought you a little loco weed as an advance. <laughs> you certainly know how to pick it. The job will be done. John, the Swede's gone. Someone must have set him free. Marsha, you didn't like the Swedish meat. She's blown everywhere. What the hell happened? It's too much of a shock, I guess. <sighs> you better take him away. I have to get to the fort on time tonight. The Commandant has invited me to his birthday party. Me and my girls. We got strict orders in after dark and out before daylight to protect the reputation and prestige of the U.S. Army. Prestige is always very important. Hey, what's going on in your mind, sweetie? Corporal! Hey, Corporal, come here! Hey, come here, Perkins! Out of the way. Ah, you're here. Good evening, Corporal. Hello, Corporal. You brought along the same bunch as usual? The same as always. I never seen her before. 
That's right, of course. I forgot. She's new. Come, let's not waste time. You wouldn't like to look her over now, would you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had better take a look. <laughs> Open the gate! Hey! <laughs> There they are, sir. Mm. Oh, new one. <laughs> Welcome to Fort Hi there, girl. Good evening, Miss Cyrus. Nice to have you here again. Nice to see you again, nice you again Mary. There we are. Okay. Careful now. Ah, oh, there's there my sweet. I got a bit. You get prettier every day. Oh, you can't. It's glad as ever. Well, with a lady like you... All right, man, take oh, care, John, around hey. back. What are you flat feet standing around here gaping at? Back to your barracks. All of you, clear out. Get out of here. Oh, oh, easy there, there, that's good. Oh, he's upstairs. But you don't want to meet that old bookworm. Why, he wouldn't know a girl if she sat on his head. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Fire! Fire in the stalls! Hey, Bugler, get your butt out here and sound the alarm! Now, how the hell did that happen? on fire. What'd you say? You got a bad fire and it's spreading like crazy, sir. Send for the Yuma City Fire Department. Hurry. Yes, sir. Now listen here, everyone. The fire's broken out. We got to evacuate the building. This way, ladies. Now don't panic. Just get as quickly as you can. Fire! 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 We need help, everyone! The fort is on fire! Hey! Get those water wagons over to the fort as quick as you can! Got one hell of a blaze out there! Hurry! Ha! 
do about Professor Sergeant? I take care of him. Get outside and help with the fire. Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm the sweet, but they call me penguin. <laughs> Your people are waiting for you. They need you. This is your chance to escape. I will only return to my country legally, and not like an escaped convict. A professor should win his freedom without resorting to violence. But sometimes you have to use violence, Professor. I deny that. Give me one single case where violence is absolutely necessary. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> If I find the Jack Andrew, now what the you hell do you do? I go get it for you right away. I'm a cripple, you idiot. Now step on yes, it. You men working those buckets. Let's get in there faster. Hey, you over there. You hey. fire me. Hiya. Oh. Hiya. How are you? I'm here. Let's go. the kind of woman I really like to marry one day. Thank you. Hey-ya! Hey ya Come on, Zaira! They're breaking our way, boys. It'll be a lot easier to get Santos now. How do you feel, Professor? <laughs> Wait, I think the Professor is a mute. He hasn't said a word since we left the fort. <laughs> Say, Professor, why are all those students so anxious to get themselves killed for you? What the hell do you tell them anyway? Why don't you tell us why you tell them and see how we react? Hmm? <laughs> I think the poor man has dust in his ears as well. Yeah, but you see he hasn't got the area of the mouth. Like you. You are not Mexican, are you? No, I'm uh, Swedish. <laughs> He's the son of a Mexican puta with a penguin. From Stockholm. Say me what do forest law. After sin me ho be free it me. Han vil ever lima me til general Mongo for a dem as a scooten. Jok am tu atu better motive and then they are fanatic. Natural to this. You cure the death for Penga. Deve carventiere. Men bru pu quantidet. Jok for elften and on ink holet he casescopet he San Bernardino. One more word in a lousy damn language and I kill both of you. You hear? Take it easy, compañero. The professor is known as quite a linguist. And we were just talking about... I don't give a damn what he is. Speak in a Christian language, mine. Well, there's no reason to get all excited. I think I'll turn in. You can take the first watch since you're wide awake. Hmm. First watch. Oh, man, hold on. 
I don't care what he said anyway. But I can tell you why we got you out of the prison. I know why. To have me executed by General Mongo. Nah. No. To put you on trial. General Mongo is not a common bandit. He's a man of facts. You understand? Facts! He doesn't believe in bitty bitty words. You're mistaken. General Mongo will abandon you the moment he succeeds in reaching his own goal. Eh, <laughs> you don't know General Mongo. Everybody knows what he wants. First, the peasants will own the land. The workers will own the factories they work in. All the riches in Mexico will be divided among the poor. And all the people like you that know how to read and write, all your fancy books will be burned because we don't need them. If you want, I can go and look for them. It's still warm, John. They couldn't be far. That's nice. Come on! Ah! Ah! There's no need for you to look for your friends. When they hear your screams. <laughs> Poor old Henry here is starving. Why, he ain't at for almost four right, days. Senor. Yeah. Please. Hey, you watch yourself, little fella. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's eating all the roads. No, please. That's when he'll start trying to dig his way out from under the trap. Uh, his claws are so strong, he can no, no, no. dig right through the hardest ground. <laughs> so he won't have too much trouble with the soft meat in your belly. Keep moving, Professor. It's only that crazy Vasco having one of his laughing fits. All by himself? <laughs> he gets them often. That, that doesn't sound normal. Perhaps we should go back and get him. Oh, no, Professor. There's no time. Let's go. Ha-ha! Ah! Ah! Penguin! Ah! Penguin! Ah! Penguin! I... I can't believe he would carry on like that all by himself without some reason. All right, don't believe it. But you see that falcon flying around down there? It means there is a dear friend of mine close by whom it's better to avoid. You mean that they are torturing him? If they get a hold of us, you really know the meaning of that word. So get moving. No, not another step. Look, Professor, why should you give a damn about a lousy bastard who wants to turn you over to Mongo to be shot? Huh? No one man has the right to render a final judgment on another man. And all mistakes can be corrected. I don't care about your way of thinking. All I care about is you, and only for the money you mean to me. They're trying to kill me! <laughs> Give me those glasses. Why? The only way to free your countryman is to catch the damn bird. I don't understand what you have in mind. The falcon is a very curious animal. If I can get him to come down to see what it is that's shining, then my friend Wooden Hand 
When he sees his girlfriend is missing, we'll come over here looking for her. Professor, the jacket, quick! That's it. I don't know. Marsha must have found them. I don't know. Cherokee, anything. you stay here and guard them. We'll go and hide somewhere. The professor will be back soon. Good, professor. Now hold her. Don't move. Yes. When Vasco stops screaming, let her go. All right? Yes. Find anything, Marcia? You're still my only friend in the world. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on, you stupid ass! Stupid ass! Ooh. Tu madre, hijo de puta! I want to know something. If you knew I was going to turn you over to Monko, why did you convince him uh, to save me? If we continue to travel together, you will learn many things, Vasco. Well, the Rio Grande is behind us. Mexico. You asked me a question a little while ago, and now I will answer it. I insisted on saving you because we both belong to the same land. Can you understand that? I'm not as stupid as I look like. What I want to know is how we are going to get past the soldiers. How do you know that too, Professor? They may belong to the same land, but I don't think they share your philosophy. Nothing new to report, senor. Double your guards and patrols. The order is that all terrorists, whether they be with Santos or Mongo, are to be destroyed. And no one is to be allowed to cross the border. Understand? No one. Si, senor. Carry on. How very strange. These turtles are of tropical origin. And are always found near water. I can't understand how they managed to get here, so high above the river. Look! Here are more of them. They... They are very rare in Mexico. I imagine they are rare in Sweden, too. 
Am I right? Yeah. And then people full of bullshit like you are very rare too, Professor. Hmm? I found a way. To do what? The professor goes in here. Yeah, and us? <laughs> Where are you going, Padre? To bury our beloved prior, brother. And what is your order? San Bernardino. Muy bien. Let them pass. Que Dios te bendiga, mijito. La resurrección de los pecados. Creo en Dios Padre Todopoderoso, Creador del cielo y de la tierra. Y en Jesucristo, único Hijo de nuestro Señor, fue concedido obra y gracia. For the sake of our professor who art inside, please be quiet and enjoy the ride. Just one noise, no matter how small, and we'll end up against the wall. Amen. We are responsible for the entire northern sector. If we follow General Sanchez's plan to the letter, well, within a month, oh. this whole area will be in our hands. Where are you going, but father? we must follow the plans carefully and broke the very Arab no the brother. peasants or All right. here. One moment. Lower it. Sergeant, let's see what's in that coffin. Si, sí, senor. Garcia, Valdez. It is my duty, officer, to inform you that our prior has been taken from us by an infectious disease. Uh, a cholera. I can't risk my troops spreading an epidemic. Let that coffin alone. On your way. And don't let anyone touch that coffin. We should burn a coffin, so there's no chance of contagion. And I think we should burn the two contaminated friars also. They'd probably like to be with their good friar anyway. Psst. Professor, when you hear the music begin, get out and jump on the truck. Hey, don't forget about the price on your life. Ready? You bet. Now! <laughs> Damn it, he's jammed! Couple of men 
go that way and cut him off. Faster! Faster! Must have been a lovely dive. <laughs> yes. Right down to the fires of hell. Careful, don't move. Or that bird will give us away. What do we do now? I'll take care of that parrot and worry. Hey, save me a piece and make it a breast. You have to say please. And I don't please anybody anyway. I hope it sticks in your throat. Listen, it's about time you know that this is my country. And here I do whatever I please. And if you don't like it, you know where you can go. Calm yourself, Vasco. Nationalism is always a sign of fear and of the insecurity of a nation's people. I'm not afraid of anybody. You understand? You know it was a tragedy to kill that poor bird. It was a Volturus loricatus, a very rare species of almost human intelligence. <coughs> That's why it tastes like shit. Well, at least it will provide <coughs> something to eat for my little turtles. They are dying of hunger. Your turtles are dying of hunger. Your damn turtles! It's about two days I haven't eaten. You hear? Con el general Mongo, this would have never happened. Never. It's his way of tricking his men into following him. Not me. Yes, you too. That's not true. How? I think you should ask him. How? In Sweden we say, please. But certainly, I don't want to please a jackass like you. You big footy stirred! Gentlemen, if you have to fight, do it fairly.
Where are the other two? They are busy digesting Marcia. Yeah. It's true. They snared her, and then they roasted her. Professor Santos. Now, Professor, are you going to tell me where they are? I will never tell you anything, sir. Colonel, this man is wanted by your government and by my government, too. For murder, for robbery, and above all, for treason. Therefore, I request that he be executed. Uh, our last kiss before I die. I know you don't approve of this, Lola. Santos would be against it, too. He taught us there is no reason strong enough to kill a man. Haven't you read the Bible? An eye for an eye. Of course they won't tell us where the professor is. Because they murdered him. Go on, give the order to fire. No, it's you who made the decision, so it's you who gives the orders to fire. Compañeros, prepare to fire. Listen, before I die, just tell me why you gave me this dollar. Please, where is Professor Santos? Tell me, Vasco. Why must you make them shoot you? I'll tell you. <clears throat> but, but don't shoot. Ah. Here's another one. Compañeros, we are on the right trail. Lolita. You can make a comb out of this when your hair grows out. Made it alone, I'll cool off. Hey, Senor Swede, what do these turtles have to do with the professor? Do you know the fairy tale of Tom Thumb? These little animals will take us to the professor. Or maybe to the big bad wolf. In the name of the president of Mexico, you, Professor Vitaliano Santos, have been found guilty of murder, robbery, inciting to riot, rebellion, sedition, and treason, and are hereby sentenced to be shot. Said execution shall be carried out immediately. You may proceed, Captain. Platoon, one pace forward. Load. Ready. Aim.
güey. ¡Oh! ¡México! ¡Vamos! Soldiers you killed while you were saving me were men, humans. And to kill your fellow man, even if he is your enemy, is nothing more than murder. Isn't that what I've always taught you? Well, isn't it? What would you have had us do? Stand there and watch you die? The strength of our ideals is that we have no fear of death and have no need of rifles to triumph. My friends, you must never forget this one principle. If the ideals you are struggling for are just, you can win without violence. But the others have rifles. And when they have killed us all, our principles and our ideals will be dead too. In that case, our revolution is as good as finished. Look, rifles, pistols, knives, ammunition. You're no different from General Mongo. You have no principles left. Professor, words are of no use to us anymore. The time has come to respond to violence with violence. To respond any other way is cowardice. <laughs> Forgive me. It would appear that I have become too old. And you are too young, all of you. It could very well be that your way of thinking is more in keeping with the times we live in than mine. But my conscience finds it revolting. Professor! This. It's my hair. You have kept it all this time? Mm -hmm. Close to my brains. To remind me of you. Vasco, I... I don't understand you. You don't like me, do you? I don't like bandits. Good shot hit her on right in the head. <laughs> All right, next. Panda. Right, right, Santista. Use those muscles. If you can reach that gun, that is before I shoot you in the back, you will have the honor of fighting the great General Mongo. Better get a move on. <laughs> You'll end up like the other one, General. It's just a cruel game that leads nowhere. You have a tender heart, Americano. You may call me John, General. Do you know a more amusing way of killing them, John? No, but I know a more useful way. You want Santos. But those you sent to get him have betrayed you. You're lying. John never lies. Especially when he is serious. They won't bring you Santos. But the students can. I don't see how. All you have to do is let him know that you'll hang them if he doesn't turn himself over to you. Ah, very clever. It might work, eh? But uh, what is your interest in this? Eh? Constantinople. And uh, ten thousand dollars. All right. Let's come to terms, Professor. What I want is everything that's in the safe in San Bernardino. And I'll be willing to go over to your side. You know, I can be very useful to you with my 
Complete lack of scruples. All right. You will have what you're asking for. Our heavy General Mongo has sent us here to tell you... That 20 of your followers are our prisoners. And that if by tomorrow morning Professor Santos does not come to Mongo to plead for their lives, they will all be hanged. <laughs> Amigos, it's nice to see you again. But for the moment, I suggest you get off your horses and lie flat on the floor. So they were right about your turning into a traitor. You and that filthy pig of a Swede. Vasco. Vasco. Put away those guns. They are carrying the white flag. <laughs> Professor. As far as I'm concerned, they can wipe their asses with it. Please. Put away those guns. <laughs> Tell Mongo, I'll be there. We will be waiting, you can count on it. Adios! Yeah! Please don't go, Professor. They will kill you. Please. No, don't worry. I will talk to Mongo and try to convince him. I know what he wants me for. We'll go with you, without our guns. No. That would be a mistake. A big mistake. And perhaps a useless massacre. I want your word of honor. You will not follow me. It's your old professor asking you to obey me for the last time. We give you our word of honor. Gracias. Gracias. Muchachos. Are you going to let him go alone like that? Uh, because uh, he's an old man uh, uh, and Mongo will kill him. We gave our word, our word of honor. Uh, that's why you don't go, because you gave your word of honor. Yes. You know something? <laughs> I don't have any honor. He's true about what Senor Wooden had said. Roscoe and his suite have turned traitor. And Santos? He took the bait. He said to tell you he will be here, General. Uh, alone? Yeah. See, si, all alone, me, General.
Here comes the old man. friendship. You were always like a son to me. You and me, sweet, we were always good friends. Sure, I admit I'm not interested in the revolution. I only want a little money, that's all. Only, only it didn't work out. All right, so I'm through. I'm finished. Look, look there. And there. And there. I beg you, please. No, I don't want to die. Pasco, go. Let him go. There's been enough killing in San Bernardino. Santos! Viva la revolución! 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 Viva la revolución!
location of the safe, Professor. Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico. labor, our soil, our grain. It's all we have. All our wealth is there. If you stay with us, you will have your share. <laughs> to get married first. get married. But there is no priest. He's more important than a priest. But I don't have a veil. I don't have anything. Will you, Vasco? What's your real name? Uh, uh, Modesto Servando Irureta Goyena. Will you, Modesto Servando Irureta Goyena? Col Vasco. Col Vasco? Uh -huh. Take me as your wife and live with me all your life. Swear it on San Bernardino. I swear on San Bernardino. I'm sorry, but you cannot take my protector away. It's the only thing of any value, and I never leave empty-handed. It's 
Swedish style? Mexican style. the bell, right? All right. Penguin, before you die, you have to tell me why you gave me this dollar. Hmm. I bet myself that if within 10 minutes in San Bernardino, I met a horse's ass, compañero, I'd give that horse's ass a dollar. not quite over yet. It is for you, but not for me. I have got three bullets left. And this time, I won't miss. Put up your hands! There are four of us now. I have never killed anyone. But I will now. Unless you drop that gun. Penguin! Are you going to leave us now? You should stay and fight with us. Hmm. With what? The arms that were in the freight car? Or the weapons your peasants have? Why not? <laughs> you can be a help to us. Any extra man is important here. Maybe together we can make it. Maybe. But if I stayed, I have to take the dollar back.